डियर सर्जन्स टुडे वी हैव डन लैप्रोस्कोपिक इनवाइनल हर्निया सर्जरी और ट्रांस एबडोमिनल प्री पेटोनल रिपेयर फॉर लेफ्ट इनवाइनल हर्निया आई डेंट गो फॉर अ टीईपी रिपेयर एज द हर्निया इज ऑन द सेम साइड इट समाइम बिकम डिफिकल्ट टू नेगोशिएट इट ऑन द ऑपोजिट साइड एज टावर जर्नली इज ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड इन दिस केस वी डिड अप्सिलेटरल टी ए पी पी द कैमरा पोर्ट अराउंड फोर फिंगर अब दिकस एंड टू इप्सिलेटरल पोर्ट दैट वॉज द वर्किंग डायरेक्शन ओवर हेयर and i'll be showing you how mm. we did the surgery that we got recorded so please watch the surgery nicely and go for um, ipsilateral tapp that is very easy to do and ergonomics are also better uh, otherwise you have to work your shoulders get tired in this case the shoulders will not get tired so let's see the surgery mm. thank you so starting the video that's under spinal anesthesia uh, i'm just putting the head down that you can see there the indirect inguinal hernia on the left side i'll be using a regular bipolar shearer for this i'm reflecting the peritoneum around 4 to 5 cm above the defect now that will be enough to fit in a 15 by 12 cm mesh so regular dissection the cameraman is very important in this cases when you have a, a bit of less space and the pressure here is 8 mm of uh, mercury it actually doesn't really matter how much the pressure is the space there is adequate and this we are doing an ipsilateral uh, tapp for left sided inguinal hernia you can see the advantage the camera is on one side and the ergonomics are so good that your shoulders will never get tired earlier we we or you can say i used to do an tapp with ports on both sides of the abdomen uh, that was very difficult the shoulders would hurt here you can see uh, the transverse fascia that i have lifted the muscle is getting bared so i have lifted the facial layer on the muscles so that post operatively these paresthesias don't happen the dissection continues from the ipsilateral side there is a bit of a difficulty reaching the retro pubic space but that's enough the peritoneum i have dissected a bit less so i'll go back and cut around a centimeter of peritoneum more which uh, i'll be cutting half of the med medial umbilical ligament that will make a uh, good space for the med uh, medial dissection there you can see the retro pubic space i'm already in the retro pubic space pushing the bladder down we have not catheterized this patient generally we do not catheterize the patient in the case of uh, inguinal hernia surgeries we tell the patient to pass the urine just before the anesthesia and the patient fares well without uh, putting a catheter as i prefer not putting a catheter in young patients or maybe in any patient the urethra should not be used otherwise for such small things the bladder is well deflated over there taking down the bit of fibers more no fibers now on the left side you can see the hernial sac going in that i'll be addressing in the last i have reached around uh, that's the opposite side post ligament can also be seen over there to adjust the mesh adequately coming back to the dissection side that's the indirect inguinal hernia that's going in uh under such low pressure pneumoperitoneums again i'll say your camera person should be excellent you have train him to twist and turn the 30 degree scope towards all these sides sometime you, he has to show it from beneath sometime from the sides sometimes from the above the section continues this i have shown in 2x speed so it will look a bit fast the surgery is not that difficult inguinal hernia surgeries do not refrain from it any laparoscopic surgeon can do a inguinal hernia surgery laparoscopically and that's uh, very easy start with tapp then graduate towards uh, tep there i am reducing the sac the limit of the dissection posteriorly is the uh, vas deferens turning medially and superiorly you can see i am pushing the sacs back a bit of dissection blunt and sharp dissections Uh, energy should be used in very very short bursts only a fraction of second and that to in uh, low low voltage mode the surgery continues there you can see the sac now i'll confirm that the sac is uh, 
it's the sack only and how much big it is by going behind the peritoneum again the loose areolar tissue gets back easily at sometimes you need to use the bipolar cutting force just step by step easily patiently just keep on dissecting and the tissues do give way that's the pseudo sac that we are seeing and i'm pulling down that's a bit of uh, fat inside lipoma of the cord that's generally presented in most of the cases these days as you know we are thin fat indians we have fat everywhere there i am confirming if, if i have reduced the sac or not this maneuver is very important else this will guide you uh, till where you have reached and where you should uh, proceed further and this will again help you in not forming button holes in the peritoneum behind the dissection continues blunt and sharp pushing some tractions over here some tractions over there you have to be away from the great vessels and the inferior gastric vessels that with time you'll uh, come to know should not injure these structures else it will be a disaster that's why it's called called triangle of disaster normally it doesn't happen you also must not and uh, never have seen such disaster happening in your residency or maybe seeing any surgeons on the youtube or any of your institutions where you have operated upon so the surgery is not that dangerous as it looks or as it is portrayed and it is very very excellent for the patient also the recovery is so excellent that in the same evening the patient will not at all feel that something has happened in this groin region so open hernia is an surgery of the past in any type of abdomen you can do a laparoscopic hernia surgery the only thing is you should train well and you can join us to learn the art of laparoscopic surgery at bhanu hospital kullu mandi and chandigarh i am dr viking bhanu and i've been doing and teaching such surgeries to lots of i believe in uh, uh, passing on the baton the talent i know i pass it on to the deserving candidates and if you want to learn you can join me step by step we are going away from the hernial side there you can see the hernia the sac i am holding on the left side and i'll be pulling it out uh, intraperitoneally because this is the extra peritoneal side okay. dissection continues step by step we have to preserve the vas also that's the vas you can see turning towards the left towards the medial aspect uh, now dissecting a bit of loose areolar tissue and there you can see the sac has come out beautifully you that's the most important part and later i'll show you that i'll tag this uh, sac with the peritoneal sutures in uh, spinal anesthesia cases for hernia we do not use tackers i have not been using tackers since last around 5 years earlier we used to use these tackers earlier it was the absorbable then the non absorbable ones but how the patient at times feel these neuralgic pains where the tackers have gone in as they uh, bore into the muscles blindly after a while we have uh, come to know that after putting this mesh we do not need tackers especially in spinal anesthesia because 4 to 5 hours patient lies flat on his bed and uh, the pneumoperitoneum deflation should be very good and the mesh never migrates in my more than 300 plus cases i have never seen mesh migrating into the hernial sac and earlier we used to tag the pseudo sac also now we are not doing that also but these things are actually not required the main idea is the sac look at the sac that i have tied inside the peritoneal cavity that's the more most important part of the hernia in the open hernia we also were taught that dissecting the sac completely prevents recurrence and that is true and that is true for even laparoscopic hernias and i don't use tackers for closing the peritoneum also try endo suturing it is very nice though may it will take 2 to 3 minutes more but it's always good for the patient and with a single 2o vicral and a hernia mesh the surgery is over in the end just suck the all the co2 out press on this scrotum and suck all the co2 out with this and the mesh will lie flat it will never migrate 
thank you for watching the surgery patiently and as i told you i do a bit of teaching also so join me follow me for learning seamless laparoscopic surgery thank you